sciatica has got to be one of the most annoying conditions there is. Uh, last week we talked about what it is, uh, where the nerve runs, how it refers, and the typical presentation. Um, today I want to take you through three ways to, aggravate, uh, to avoid aggravating it. So what we spoke about last week was that the nerve does start up in the lower back, runs through the glute, down through the hamstring, all the way down through the calf to the foot. And I talked about the typical referrals being you know, shooting pain straight down the leg, pins and needles, numbness. Um, and we also covered what it doesn't do, which is refer up your back into the thigh, all these random presentations. Everyone likes to think they've got sciatica, but not everyone does. So now let me take you through three things you can avoid doing so you don't aggravate it. First one, sitting. Too much sitting. So sitting's not good for anything, especially for long periods of time, but if I sit in this position here and I round a little bit and like this, like we all are on the computer all day, that will actually pull the sciatic nerve. So in this position, especially if you've got your leg out like that, the nerve's actually lengthened. So think of the nerve like a piece of fishing line. It has to glide through its interfaces. It doesn't necessarily kind of stretch and move with us. It's more rigid and it moves through with our other structures. So in this position, especially if we're flexed, it can put pressure on the nerve up here, pressure on the nerve here, and it's in an uncomfortable position. So avoid sitting too much, especially for sustained periods. Uh, number two, don't sit on a wallet. There's a lot of, a lot of truck drivers, uh, even normal people drive cars, sitting on the wallet. For one, it's gonna uh, offset the pelvis slightly, which can cause some irritation to the nerve. But for two, it can actually directly push on the nerve itself. We know that the nerve comes through a muscle here called piriformis. So if you're sitting on that, it's gonna irritate your sciatica. Uh, number three, uh, Avoid overstretching the hamstrings. Now this is probably one of the most common. Everyone that kind of with sciatica struggles to dissociate the, a tight hamstring with an actual sciatic pain referral because that nerve does run through both of these hamstrings here. So a lot of people will be constantly stretching the hamstrings like this, you know, standing up and stretching, and that can actually irritate the nerve by pulling on it too hard, not allowing it to rest or allowing it to glide through its interfaces. All right, there's my three tips. Uh, if you've got any questions, please comment below. Uh, feel free to share this video around. Thanks for watching, guys.